welcome back to Ambrosia's Dollhouse. Today we have another amazing box opening because this box opening was sparked by a gift that was given to us by Dolls on Deck and a beautiful happy mail from my last video. But anyway, so he was like, go on Instagram and ask them because he was like, I forgot. He was like, ask them where the clothes, um, you know, like where the clothes like originated from or whatever. So I contacted Cutie Erica because she always has the most fabulous pictures of her integrity dolls. So I kind of her dolls, period. So I contacted Cutie Erica and I asked her if she recognized any of the clothes, a couple of the clothes. So a couple of the items that I showed to her were actually fashion royalty. And she explained the whole thing about integrity dolls to me and i've always wanted an integrity doll because i think they're so cool the way they have like their pose and they're like little models or whatever and i love them so actually so she i wasn't a member of the w club but she gave me a link to um the basic doll so you can order a basic doll from integrity dolls when they have them available and that is what we have today so we're gonna open this up and we will be right back they actually come in a larger box, but this is like the small box that's inside, which I think is so super cool that they have it in several boxes so that the doll will not be damaged. So she's in this box and then you will slide out. You will slide out this one and it says new face on it. It's wrapped really nicely. So, see here. It's wrapped in tissue paper. I might do like a lower view. So I'm gonna put this right here. So, and then this box says new face on it, and it's very nice. It's textured, it says new face across there. It's very nice. And then <clears throat> this box, another box, yet another box. You slide her out of, let's see here. You slide her out of this box. And I'm not gonna toss this one on the floor because I really like this box right here. And then she has a certificate of authenticity right here, which is really nice. It's a nice cardstock, so I like that. Oop, I had it upside down. So she has a certificate of authenticity right here. And she is number, ooh, 813 of 1,000. Okay. So cool, addition size. So there's, they made like 1,000 of these dolls, and she's number 813. And I do think they said that after this go-round of this particular doll, they're not going to make any more of her. And um, she is designed in North America by Jesse Ayala for Integrity Toys. I think that's how you say her name. And that's her. And she is the Lilith. I thought it said it somewhere on here, but it doesn't. But she is the Lilith. And I'll put her whole name down below. But look at her, y'all. Look how magnificent she is. She is absolutely stunning and gorgeous and stunning and gorgeous <laughs> all over again. Just absolutely perfect. I really, really, really like how they have a slender body like models. And then they have their face is small, but it's like very well, it's very detailed. And I think she's like a Native American type. Um, she's a Native American because of her honey skin tone. And there's like a, she had a sister or something that was actually in the Native American costume. But since she's a basic, but I just really, really love her. And you can tell that from looking at her face. She's absolutely fabulous. Let's go down to the table so that you all can see how fabulous she is up close as well. Okay, here, guys. See, she is absolutely gorgeous. She's absolutely so pretty. I'm so glad to have her. I could not believe that when I when I get these dolls, I can't believe that I actually have one because the influencers make them seem so fun. And that's my idea of an influencer when you can like uh, demonstrate how cool the doll is by doing different things with it. And it makes a person really want to have one. So um, Cutie Erica, um, check her out on Instagram because she really, really, really does amazing things with these integrity dolls. Okay, so... She comes in this lovely box right here, and I really like how they have her tied in. It's so classy. So you um, turn it over like this, and on the back part, let's see. I watched a couple of videos to see exactly how you do this, and hopefully I'm staying in frame. So it's like this. 
So on the back here, you see that there's ties. So you just kind of pull the ties loose here. That was very simple. It wasn't anything that you needed to cut either. And I really like that. I really appreciate that. I wish that all of the toy makers would put their dolls in. They don't necessarily have to use ribbons, but they could put them in there so that you could just pull something and kind of get them out. So I'm not sure, but I don't think you have to cut anything to get it out. Let's see here. Okay. And then also, she comes with this fancy smancy stand right here. It's Oh, it's a heavy stand. Look at that, guys. It says new face on there. And it's very heavy. It's very classy. I love it. So that's what she comes with that stand. I'll put this aside over here. Okay. And let's see. I think you flip it back over. Yeah, you do. And you flip it back over. And... Okay, there was something on, there was one right here that I'll need to snip. Okay, so you flip it back over and let's see here. And you just kind of move her arm down. Cause it just gets stuck in her arm. Ooh, she's so fabulous. And this right here, you just take it off like this. I'm sure there's a different, easier way to take this off of her. I am not good with just <laughs> unboxing because I'm so excited to get the doll out till it just doesn't even come out right. Oh, and she's nice to hold. Wow. I love the weight of her. She's not really heavy, but she's got like a very elegant feel to her. Wow. Okay, so we're going to take her box. Well, no, not quite. Well, Let's see what she has. And she also comes with a few things in her box. I really like that, that's neat. So we're gonna have to put that so we can take pictures of her. And she comes with these teeny tiny little shoes that everybody talks about. They're hard to um, get on because they're so teeny tiny. And from, um, from Dolls on Deck sending me a few pairs of shoes that are teeny tiny. They're very, they're like fragile. Let's see, let's open them here. And I'm probably gonna put them on off camera. Okay. Ooh, they're hard to even get. Let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and cut this because I'm not gonna put them back in the package. <clears throat> they're so tiny. That's why everybody's like, I feel like I have to get them out of the package with tweezers. They're so tiny. And I don't wanna break the heel. Ooh. As you can see that it is so, 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 so tiny. Look at that, that is so little. Oh man, I see why everybody, they look very handmade. The bottoms are brown, shiny, like brown. And then the tops are like made out of, they're almost made out of tassel, cause I like to wear it while I have on a shirt today with tassel on there. And they look like they're made out of the same thing that my tassels are made out of on my shirt. And with like a satiny, silky, like bottom to the shoe. So very, very nice. The little heel, the little heel is like a, a toothpick. So yeah, very tiny, very fragile. So let's see here. And okay, so let me not forget over on this side. On this side of the box, she has earrings. So let's get those out. Ooh, brother, fragile, dropping everything. So she has earrings. These are very nice. She's got earrings and a ring. And I'm gonna put the ring on her. Also, her nails are super nice. I'm gonna show her to you all in just a few minutes, but her nails are so nice. So these are her earrings right here. So nice, and her ring. So let's see, I'm gonna set this aside. Hmm, well, I'll just set it right here. Okay, and then we're gonna talk about her for a minute. Her hair is super soft. Oh, I don't know what they made it out of, but it is so super soft. I love her hair. I actually love her face. Her face is fabulous. Then her nails. I love long nails, and I'm so glad that my nails are growing back. But And I love the squeak. I love when you buy a new doll and it has a squeak to it. So she has the squeak. Her nail, her, she, She's not double jointed in her um, elbows. They just sort of go that. That's the the distance they go like to a regular purse hold, I'll call it. Her hand is movable. She has uh, articulation at the hand, at the wrist. Okay, she's got articulation, of course, at her um, 
her thighs. And she has articulation at the knee as well. But they have tape on there, so I'm going to have to get the tape off. I saw where they snipped the tape on a couple of videos. They did it with their, like, X-Acto knife, but mm -mm. <laughs> I don't want to uh, mess her up, so I'm going to pause for a minute and take that off. Okay, because I don't want to... They were just like snip, snip, but I don't, mm -mm. this is like my first doll, so I'm not used to that. So I'm going to um, have to uh, pause for a minute, but she has very tiny little feet, little dainty feet. And her feet are polished. Her toenails are polished. I'm going to take some pictures and do a close, uh, closer up of that and kind of put it on the side so that you all can see it better. But oh my goodness, I really, really love her. She's just gorgeous. She's like fashionably just so absolutely gorgeous. And she's going to look so super cute in the outfits. And then her articulation is like just enough. Because she doesn't really need to do all that. Because it's like, as long as they can reach their head in their face for me to do like a head pose like that or something, then I'm fine. But uh, I do love realistic articulation in my dolls. But anyway, she's just perfect like she is. I love the feel of her and everything. I love her... Whatever she's made out of, I absolutely love it. It's like, look at that. She could do her hand like that. And these nails, I love, no, I love, love nails. She also has rooted eyelashes. She has real eyelashes. They're not painted on. Her eyes are beautiful. She's got like light brown eyes. And she's got like a new, like a neutral color, like pinkish lip, uh, lipstick, lip gloss. And it looks really, really good with her skin tone. Her high, Her eye makeup, I think it's like a gray. She's just so super cute. Just really the, the design of her is just so awesome. And her hair is just so pretty. I've already mentioned that, but it's so pretty. And I love how they have it long, evenly cut. She really, they really did a really good job with her. Um, she's supposed to be Native American. They really did a great job bringing that across. I absolutely love her. So, yeah. So, we're going to do some, um, I'm going to do some photos of her. Do like a little photo session and um so guys stay tuned for that and hopefully you enjoy this quick unboxing of my lily but guys be safe and thank you all for watching please like share and subscribe and hang on in there with us we'll be back with more videos we really have some great um american girl haul um coming up so stay tuned talk to you guys soon and be safe